Today we're going to be making these delicious bacon wrapped dates stuffed with a roasted almond. We're going to do a honey mascarpone ricotta spread and a red wine reduction. We're going to start off by roasting some almonds. Add one third cup almonds to a bowl. We're going to drizzle this with a little olive oil, sprinkle with some salt. Give this a nice toss and then throw it in the oven at 425 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now let's make our honey mascarpone ricotta spread. Start off by adding half cup mascarpone to a bowl. Throw in half cup ricotta. Do a nice sprinkle of pepper. Add in half teaspoon salt. Two teaspoons Dijon mustard. Add in one tablespoon honey. Give this a nice whisk until everything's combined and set aside. Time to talk about the star of the show, the bacon. Right here I have an applewood smoked bacon, super tasty, sugar free. Cut that open, then we're gonna lay it out on a pretty big cutting board. Cut the bacon in half and then you wanna remove them into strips. Right here I have some beautiful medjool dates. These are unpitted, so we'll remove those in a bit. And obviously just count the number of bacon slices you're gonna use and you'll need that amount of dates. Start off by cutting the ends off the dates. And then you're gonna see here, we're just gonna slit through the side. Make sure you don't go all the way to the bottom. So open it pretty carefully, remove the pit, and then just repeat the process with the rest of the date. Grab the dates and lay them on the ends of the bacon slices. Grab those roasted almonds one at a time. Stuff it right in the center of the date. Push it closed with your fingers. Put it back on the bacon slice. Roll the bacon over the date. You want to make sure that it overlaps. And then basically just take a toothpick, stick it in right where that overlapping is from the side. And then this way it's going to also be easy to flip them when they're cooking. Repeat the process with the rest of the dates. Add these all to a sheet tray. Throw that in the oven at 425 for about 8 to 10 minutes per side. Now let's make a simple red wine reduction sauce. Grab yourself a medium sized sauce pot. Right here I have some beautiful Malbec that I'm going to use. Use any red wine of your choice. Throw in half cup of the red wine and add in one tablespoon of the maple syrup. We're going to let this come up to a simmer on medium heat and let it start to reduce for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once it starts to turn into a glaze, remove it from the heat as it's going to continue cooking. Remove the bacon wrapped dates from the oven. You can see those bottoms are starting to get nice and caramelized. Give those a nice flip and then add it back to the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes. While those are finishing off cooking, grab yourself a bowl and throw in some arugula. Drizzle this with a little olive oil, a little sprinkle of salt. Toss and then set aside. Turn on your smell of vision because these are yummy. Look at those nice and crispy. We are ready to plate. Grab the mascarpone ricotta mixture, spoon that around the center of the plate, then take a few handfuls of the arugula right in the center, add the dates around the arugula, then spoon over some of the red wine reduction, just drizzle that around, and that is it guys, this is complete. Let's do a little taste test. Grab a date, and then this is why having that toothpick is nice as well. Easy access right to the date. Make sure you get a nice helping of that mascarpone ricotta mixture. And then you can see here, nice crispy bacon, the creaminess of that mixture, and the beautiful date. Let's take a bite. Drum roll, please. Oh yeah, guys, it is super good. I love having that roasted almond in there. Provides a nice little bit of texture. And I'm telling you, this plate is super well balanced. The red wine reduction gives it a little acid, breaks up some of the sweetness. I really hope you guys love this dish as much as I do. And if you do, give me a little like and make sure to subscribe. I got plenty more videos coming your way. Peace.